Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment, and Bullock Repair Philippines. Gonna start doing some TLC on my Fujika Single 8 Z2. This little piece of aluminum has fallen off right here. Although this stuff is really strong in here, alright, it still needs some protection from the elements outside. This is my backup camera, uh, one of them, and uh, I need to put a cover on there. Um, what I've done is I've really looked at this and there's nothing really to work with. They've really got this manufactured to where you need that little aluminum plate on there. It's become unglued and lost, alright? So, the only thing that I can do in time is find an original plate to go on here. Um... Really, you're not going to spend too much time on it, I suppose. It is a backup camera. So, what I need to do is, the only thing I could find is, for temporary, is some of the, uh, well, the RET replacement that I use on some cameras. Alright, so I'm going to have to cut this, fit it on there, and put it here here in the meantime I suppose all right it's just something it's something to keep the rain off of it all right and if I can there's not even anything that I can I've, I've looked that I can put behind here but this is pretty strong I just have to be careful with it that's all it is all right let's get started on that all right Measure this up with the caliper here. Alright, okay I've got the piece cut out and I'm applying a multi-purpose glue that <laughs> takes only about 15 seconds to dry. You can use it on film and a bunch of different other things so I've been trying to apply it as fast as possible. Alright, that's that. Put this on here. And you just press it down, of course. I gotta shape that up. At least this will keep the elements out of it. This glue that's protruding out the side. Once it dries, I'll scrape that off. 
want to make sure everything dries so no rain can get inside of there. That's what I'm looking at. And if I find, find a replacement part, then uh, I'll just put it on there and replace this. But for now, this is just fine. Okay, so I'll let this glue here dry and I'll remove that later. But as you can see for now, that's, that's just fine for what I need. Or as a backup camera is concerned. Okay, so we can check some some other things. Here's that glue, by the way. I've shown it before on my channel. I found it in China. It's great. It's uh, it specifies it's used for film. It's very flexible. It dries within 15 seconds or a little bit less. And uh, so that's what I've been using. Okay, on this again. All right, so that's out of the way. Let's check something else. So let's see here. How about, you know what? I haven't checked this. I haven't checked the battery. And so let's take a look. I'm wondering if it has an original or has it been replaced. And if it's even corroded in here. A lot of times people leave these batteries in here and it's the battery compartment is completely corroded into the area. Okay, well it doesn't look too terribly bad from up here. Let's set the batteries original. You know what? Let's see if I can get this with Generally, these things are frozen in there. Well, it seems to be moving around quite well. So let's try this. Huh. That fell out. And as gooey as this label is, it seems to be an original battery, which that's of no surprise, quite possibly. Oh no, this is nasty. Okay, could be just the label. On there, the battery. Whoop. Let's see here. Yep, the battery's bad. Let me take a look at that again. Looks like you're just flexing around there. Right, let's put that out of the way. And, whoa, look at that. Now that's amazing. Look how clean that is. You know, folks, you don't get that every day. That's far less than 1% of what you're looking at right there. When an old battery is in a vintage camera, there is a tiny, tiny bit of corrosion, as you can see at my end of my pencil eraser down there, but that's it. Nothing that a basic cleaning won't take care of. <laughs> Very fortunate on that. Probably just take a... Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, no big deal there. So I can just clean that. And uh, that type of thing. Let me do to clean it. Q 
computer. Rubbing alcohol. area in here. There you go. Clean that right up. clean that and take it as far as I want to. Alright, I'll clean some more on this and get back to you. Okay. That was from the battery compartment. All right. The final from the battery compartment. And there we are. Right there. We got that cleaned up. Okay. A little bit of light on the subject, but a little bit more, but I didn't turn that on because it generally just overexposes everything. Okay. <clears throat> so we can take the see even the lids clean on there. And that's quite good. the other side of this and clean that just for the sake of doing it since that battery was gooey generally the first thing that those bat corroded batteries will attack are these springs right here this spring right here is the generally first thing that the corrosion will attack and actually I'm looking really close right here there is a small amount of corrosion at the end of my pencil eraser right there it's just starting amazingly see you'd have to scrap, scrape this stuff off That's what I'm having to do. Just take this stuff right here and just scrape it off with a toothpick. That's all I'm doing. Scrape it off to a good point. Go back in here with that toothpick, with the alcohol. And just take that right off. Probably can't see it on the end of this tooth in this. Right here, but this came off. Alright. That'll do it. As far as that's concerned. There we go. Get this screwed back on. Alright, so 
upon the, that you do this and I'm removing some of the glue, the dried glue right here using a toothpick and do be careful or it will tear the dried glue out from under the cover right here and that type of a thing alright so I'm just knowing when to stop is what I'm doing right here alright <clears throat> hopefully if not alright so Okay, so what I've done previously is I went all the way around this just to save time, and that's going to be it. I'm going to stop right here. Okay, so that's going to be it. All right, so essentially that's the uh, all that's wrong with the camera that I can tell. Let me check again inside. Foam here looks all right. I may change that later and do a little bit of rust removal here and that type of thing. Let's take a look at that. This I'm about to is right here is the pressure plate. This is a single eight camera again. Okay, hold that up. There we go. A little bit more light. Take that rust off, and there it goes. Fortunately, this is coming right off. Round right here. Look at that. Just peeling right off. That's nice. That's really good. I can probably get on this little part right here. Yep. That's what I've got. This thing that I never use. There we go. Back into the frame pole. Alright, all that rust is just peeling right off. So, there we go. Other than that, I can do a basic cleaning. Okay. So, as you can see, there you go. Okay. Close it up. Those of you who don't know, just push in and turn. 
Okay. And there we go. Okay, so everyone, so that's it. There you have it. That's how it looks right there, as you can see it. So I've got a temporary fix until I get that original part. Okay, if ever. All right. In the meantime, I just need to be a bit careful, but it seems to be quite sturdy. All right. Do contact me at the social media outlets provided on the screen. And remember, as always, do subscribe to see more videos like this and others. Until next time, see ya!